Hey everyone, how are you? This is Tina, the Keto Coach. Yes, indeed, I'm back here sharing some information. This is a video number two for me. Um, I just want to give the history and the benefits of being keto. Okay, of course, keto and other forms of fasting or intermittent fasting people have been doing for thousands of years. But in the 1920s, Mayo Clinic Dr. Russell Wilder introduced this way of eating as a way to treat children with epilepsy, believe it or not. Isn't that something? Um, basically, what he would do is made sure the kids got enough protein to ensure proper growth and development. So it did help, especially children that had severe epilepsy and that one um, that was resistant and they were taking medication for that. And basically, the ketogenic diet has also been used in addition to the Atkins diet, and it was recommended for this particular group. As you can see, keto was initially, was not initially for weight loss, you know. Um, Dr. Robert Atkins published a book in the 1970s, of, talked about the benefits of eating fat, and Stephen Finney, PhD from MIT, he um, used this way of eating for sports endurance for athletes and things. There has, um, there has been studies that show antioxidants and inflammatory benefits that the keto diet can give. Yes, indeed. Far as um, other than treatment for epilepsy, keto seems to benefit those with glycogen storage disease, um, which these are people that are missing an enzyme to break down the sugar and glucose in their brain. Um, people or women with polycystic ovary syndrome, PCOS, PCOS, usually a sign of insulin resistance, type 2 diabetes, and infertility. Keto diet definitely helps that. People with metabolic syndrome, you know, that's usually a precursor to prediabetes. Um, diabetes seems to help those with not only with the type 2 diabetes, but also type 1. Keto has been shown to prevent some forms of cancer. Um, cancer patients can follow keto along with keto chemotherapy, radiation, and cancer surgery. It seems to help with the healing process. Um, and interestingly enough, autism. Kids and people with autism, especially with ASD behavioral patterns, which is like a repetitive motion or repetitive behaviors with putting things in order, um, it seems to help alleviate that um, particular behavioral pattern. Um, people that have Parkinson's disease, it seems to help improve the dopamine levels of those with Parkinson's disease. Also, obviously, obesity, you know, to lose weight. And people that have GLUT1 deficiency, which is a rare disorder that prevents the brain from getting glucose. Um, people with traumatic brain injury, multiple sclerosis, non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, Alzheimer disease, and migraine headaches. Yes, this is very interesting. interesting. But please remember, I'm not a doctor. I'm just speaking from my own experience, me dealing with diabetes and obesity for most of my life. But I would say, please consult your doctor, work with your doctor. Remember, that's a team effort. Let them know what you're doing. If you're planning on following the keto diet, um, any type of lifestyle change or exercise that you're planning on implementing, definitely talk to your physician. Thank you so much for tuning in and contact me. I'm Tina, the Keto Coach. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye-bye.